Now it's going to take a look about some passes from the half guard, from the, tra from the traditional position that we already passing through all the details in the Revolution 1. So we're just going to go ahead and add more this situation. For some reason, I get here, you guys have to have in mind, my escapes can be for this size or I can pass for that side. So we're going to see one of each aspect. When you have the control here, it can be in the head or it can be in the collar, when I be here with him, I told you guys to start being on your side, to start going for the pass. But the problem here is that if the guy in the bottle has a good defense, his elbows is going to be here. So when I start to sit, I sit on his elbow, what give him the gap to start to push me in order to stay. And I don't have the contact anymore. So when this happens, guys, when the guy has a good defense, I'm not going to get up. The leg that is out is going to shift under his leg. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to come over him. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to do this. Really low here. What happened here, folks, that even if he holds here, my leg on the top, I keep the control of his body. My leg on the top just kick. And I get the pass. The thing is, this is a very new approach for the pass and a half guard. What you do in this technique, we lock his leg in the bottle. That, like I said, is the one that always blocks you and escape from the bottom and from the top. What happened here, I just kick back with my top leg. Let's see for a different angle for you guys have the perfect idea of the movement. I'm here, I'm going to have to sit side. He's blocked. If he is blocked, guys, don't even keep going. Move back in hand. Start go for the dream. If he is blocked, he is blocked. I'm not going to try. Some people say, oh, so, but when it's blocked, I'm going to use my elbow here. Okay, try to use your elbow. Try to use your, your knee here. What's going to happen here? You give him the opportunity to scoop the hips more. I don't want to scoop the hips. I want to keep my weight on him. So what happened, the leg that is out just shift. You see how low I'm sitting? I'm here. I'm here. No, close. Yeah, I'm here. Note what happened here. I kind of lock and my leg on top is put a lot of pressure here. And the leg in the bottom, you can see, try to bump. He don't bump because everything is pushing here. Look that he's, he had a hard time to keep the leg crossed. Because what happened? You have power in the half guard when your leg is up here. So he can squeeze really good. And then it's hard. But, but note that when my calf close go down and I use the other leg here, I do, I'm doing this. Look the pressure I'm doing. I'm doing this on his leg. That's what makes this leg be totally locked. I'm doing this, look. And I start to slide here. What's gonna happen now? I, I'm gonna hold on his hip. I just keep it. And get the pass here. And all the thing, my hips is totally in control. It's totally attached to his hips. So as much as he tried to bump, as much as he tried to scoop, as easy as it's gonna be for you guys to take off the leg. So I'm here. Note that I'm not going through any kind of hands control because I just want to control the guy in the in the in the bottle with my chest. Because what's going to control everything is going to be my leg that's going to go under. So I'm here. Note that if he is on his side, I don't want this. I back him. And note that I'm going to lift a little bit this leg to to in order to put the, my knee under. So I'm here. I'm here. No, I want to close it, but yeah. Fall it down. You see that I don't go up. Up, I don't have leverage to kick. And he can block. The position is here. And that's when I kick. 
Most of them really cried to him, it was really hard for him to get anything for that. One more time, hold it. I can't believe the technique. 